I just finished filming a Valentine's Day get ready with me video for y'all. If you haven't checked that out already, I will have it linked in the description box down below. This look is super cute. I've got to change because I need to run to the post office and a few other places. So let's go. I'm getting ready to ship out to resell wig for my website. So how are y'all doing today? Is everyone doing bomb? It is Valentine's Day tomorrow. I am headed to the post office right now, y'all. I am going to drop off these packages that I have for my resale website. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't have Bay with me, so I'm gonna just have to pick up the camera when I can, okay? I already know you can't film in the post office, but I'll see what I can get, though. <laughs> All right, catch y'all a little bit. I'm at the post office, as you can see in the back. Look at this makeup though, in this golden hour. The sun is just like beaming right on my face. I was like, I have to get this. Like, I hope it looks as good in person as it does on camera, but yeah, got that golden hour, okay. So I'm about to go drop these packages off and then I need to go to the grocery store and then I need to get something to eat. Yeah, so we gonna do all that. So I didn't forget to vlog, I promise y'all. When I was in Publix, it was so freaking crowded because it's the day before Valentine's Day and I wasn't thinking like a lot of people are, well, a lot of guys are shopping for like flowers and food if they're going to cook for their girl, just like a whole bunch of stuff. So it was a bunch of guys in there that clearly don't shop on a regular because they were like on their phones trying to figure stuff out. It was kind of funny. But anyways... I didn't go and get anything to eat. I actually am going to cook something. I just went to the grocery store and I'm gonna make salmon bowls for dinner. I'll see if I can vlog myself cooking dinner. Like I'm super hungry. It's 6.22 p.m. and I haven't ate all day, so yeah. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm definitely gonna show y'all the finishing product. And if I don't show y'all today, I will definitely show y'all next time. So I just made my version of this Russian carrot salad, y'all, and oh, I just tasted it. I'm going to let it chill in the fridge for a bit, but I'm literally like massaging this all in. If y'all want to know like exactly what's in here, just type in Russian carrot salad and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this to chill and for me to eat it. I have been massaging the hell out of these carrots and all that flavor is just going inside. So here are the salmon bowls that I made y'all. These are gonna be so good. I'll do the recipe of this another time, but yeah, I'm ready to eat, okay? What is up y'all? I'm back out with my parents again. We are getting some good food. Guess where we are? We're on Buford Highway right now, headed to the food terminal over there. They have really great food. It's always so good. So yeah, let's eat. <laughs> Y'all, my skin was breaking out crazy last week, but it looks like it's getting back in order, honestly. That natural lighting is hitting. I just realized they barely have any like lighting in the restaurant because it literally gets all of this natural ambient lighting. But we ordered a bunch of appetizers and an entree. I'm gonna get the spicy like curry spare ribs. Hopefully it's good. You know, I'm gonna show y'all the food. And then in my last vlog, somebody was telling me I didn't really show if I like the food or not. So I'll definitely let y'all know like what's good and what's not. But honestly, we've been here so many times. All the food is pretty much good. So I'm probably not gonna be saying anything bad. Y'all know I had to get that Thai iced tea. It is so good, y'all. It's like a nice dessert drink treat all in one. I did get a little boba on the bottom and then it's got I think half and half and it's got the black Thai tea. Y'all I was trying to be cute and drink my drink and I spilled it on my shirt. That's good. 
so we've got all the appetizers here. Y'all already saw it. I'm first doing the fried okra. Mm. It's good, y'all. It comes with like this sweet, tangy sauce. And it's fried really crispy on the outside, but the inside is still nice and moist. It's really good. Look at these fried wonton, y'all. So good. Next up, we have the honey butter wing. Mm. This is so good. So lastly, they have these fried chicken dumplings. I'm gonna get my chopsticks out for that. Here are the fried chicken dumplings, y'all. This is the first time we've had these. They're really good. So here is my mom's meal. She got the wonton soup. She always gets this with extra noodles. It's really good. And I got the spicy curry rib. It comes with noodles, a fried egg, some bok choy. And then there's the spare rib. And my dad got the spicy shrimp noodle soup. You can see all that red. It looks really spicy, but delicious. So it's time to try out this entree. Do y'all want the first bite? Those noodles are so good. I'm gonna go ahead and break the yolk on it. I love it. That's good. It's not too spicy either, y'all. <laughs> Got some bok choy. I would definitely get this again, y'all. It's pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. So we just finished eating. The food was very delicious. Y'all, my dad trying to steal my spotlight. He trying to be on video. No. <laughs> he said he trying to be famous. No. Hey y'all, so I have a couple of packages that I just picked up. So let's do like a little quick unboxing. So this package, it came in the wrap already, but this is for your makeup brushes to help wash them. Y'all are interested, I'll leave my Amazon storefront linked in the description box for you guys. I'm excited to wash my makeup brushes with this. You just stick this in your sink and you can just use the different areas on here to wash your brushes. I also have another Amazon package. Let's see what is in this one. So it's this pink case right here. And this is for your soap. I saw somebody on Instagram use this for their Zote soap to clean their makeup brushes because that Zote soap, if you just put it in the sink, it slips and slides everywhere. So I am excited to pop it in this baby and see how that works out. Also, I picked up this Good Molecules, I think it's pronounced Herba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. This is the eye gel right here. I cannot wait to use it. I think it has caffeine in it and a few other ingredients that really help your under eye area so I'm all here for this y'all and then here's my last Amazon package it's like broke open hopefully whatever this is is still in here so I got a couple of nail brushes to do my nails and then I got these clean towel XL. They're just like disposable towels for your face. So I cannot wait to use this because I use paper towels, but I be going through my paper towels like this. So hopefully that's a good alternative. And then I have this really big package from Garnier, y'all. It says hair filler. So I'm assuming it's some kind of hair stuff in here. 
So I'm gonna open her up and then I'll show you what's inside. So here is the inside of the package. It says fill your hair with strength, seven layers deep, reverse up to a one year of visible damage and one use. So it looks like it has some hair filler plus ceramide in it. So I'll have to read up on this, but let's see what is under here. It comes with a step one rebond. This one kind of got messed up in shipment. Then it's got a color repair shampoo, a color repair conditioner, and a hair filler ceramide. My hair isn't color treated, but I'm excited to see, you know, how this works out. And then it also comes with this massager. I love using this for my scalp whenever I wash my hair. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try this stuff out and I'll let y'all know how it works out. By the way, my skin was breaking out really bad last week and look we got her all the way back together so if y'all want to see like a little skincare reg little session on here let me know and give this video a thumbs up i'm at taco mac with my parents y'all already know what i'm about to get some wings after i get some wings so we got the nachos y'all they already come deconstructed got some guac there jalapenos salsa and sour cream nachos are on point y'all mm -hmm. chin out of chin y'all my mom she get her wings naked that should be against the law i don't know what oh you got lemon pepper and buffalo oh, hot and lemon pepper is what my dad got and then i got this chili mango rub and mild Y'all know how to get that good homemade ranch and then some fries. Yeah, I love their fries yeah, with that homemade ranch. So good. Let's eat one of the mild wings first, y'all. Mm. I get my wings all flat, extra crispy. How do y'all get your wings? So we are leaving Taco Mac right now. It is raining outside. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see the rain, but it is so nasty outside. It's crazy. I am bundled up now, y'all, because it is cold outside and it's raining, okay? But we're in Kohl's right now. Y'all know they got a Sephora in Kohl's, but we're not looking in the Sephora in Kohl's because listen, it doesn't have as good products as like the actual Sephora store. It has less like brands and stuff like that. Anyways, just came here to look at a couple of clothes and that's that. So now we are in Target, y'all. We've been just shopping till you drop, pretty much. So I got a couple of pairs of sweatpants over there, three pairs, and some t-shirts. I needed an umbrella. So that is everything that is in the cart for right now. Today is Thursday, March 7th, y'all. Yesterday, I had a little scare. Basically, I had this pain going from down on my butt area and it radiated down to my leg y'all I don't know if it has anything to do from when I fell on my back in the shower or if it's something you know different when I tell you like my legs from the waist down just felt so numb and tingly and like it was like I was paralyzed I was scared but everything ended up working out I went to urgent care they took care of me gave me some meds they're saying that it's sciatica so if it happens again I'm gonna have to have an MRI done but hopefully it's a one and done thing but I'm at my parents house right now we're gonna go get something to eat waiting on my dad to get back I have a couple of returns I need to do today I need to return something to Kohl's and also Target and then and I want to try to get my nails done so we'll see if I have time to do that so sorry y'all I've been eating I've been starving I did not show y'all the bowl I got we're at Kava this is the harissa avocado bowl and it's so good with this pita chip my mom just informed me that I had a booger in my nose so that was a no-go y'all anyway I'm eating my harissa avocado bowl it is very good very healthy and I love these pita chips do y'all like kava let me know if y'all come here what do y'all get I'm gonna finish eating 
I'll catch y'all later. I said a sister got them nails did. Hey, I said a sister got them nails did. Hey, I feel it like a new woman, y'all. Y'all saw what my nails are looking like earlier. I said I have to go get them done. And I normally do my own Gel X nails. I got them done Gel X at the nail salon and they're cute. Like I got like a Barbie pink with some glitter. I wanted to do like the fairy dust chrome, but they didn't have that. And I got white on my toes. Y'all wanna see them? And I got white on my toes, y'all. Don't talk about my little baby toe. My little baby toe is the struggle, honestly. But they got a sister all the way together. In my last vlog, I showed y'all me getting my toes done. And I got like a milky white mixed with bubble bath. I got bubble bath and funny bunny mixed. And I didn't really like it. To me, it was giving like whitish gray. I don't know why, because it's white and pink mix. But on my toes, it didn't look too good. So white, yes. It got me all the way back together, okay? I know I didn't post a vlog last week. So sorry about that, y'all. But... We are about to get back into the weekly vlogs. So I have a bunch of random days of me vlogging, mostly going out to eat, hanging out with my parents, you know. I'm all about family lately. Like as I've gotten older, family over friends, family over everything. If y'all feel where I'm coming from with that, let us just know. So yeah, I might try to do like a little night routine or morning routine with y'all in this vlog or my next vlog, depending on how I split it up. But I will definitely have a vlog for y'all this week. My lips are dry AF. My skin was breaking out crazy, y'all. And I'm gonna tell y'all why my skin started breaking out. Gua sha. Everybody in their mama has been using new face. They've been using gua sha, sculpting their face, getting it all the way together. And as someone who has always had a round face, I've gained quite a bit of weight since I lost that weight. That's gonna be a whole nother video though. We'll talk about that another time. Anyways, so my face has always been round, even when I'm like a lower weight. But when I gain, that face goes, it gets big, okay? I was like, I wanna try gua sha. And when I tried it, like the first three days, I felt like my face was looking more sculpted, but I started noticing like these tiny bumps all over my skin on my chin, right here, and also like right around my forehead area and even down my neck. I have never, ever had any bumps or like, or pimples on my neck, y'all. So the fact that I was like breaking out just in the areas where I used the gua sha and I was washing my face before and after, I was also washing my gua sha before and after use. So I'm like, why is my skin breaking out? I had to leave the gua sha alone, y'all. Because would I rather have a round face or a broke out face? I would rather have a round face, okay? I don't wanna deal with breakouts. I hate pimples, acne, like makeup won't sit good on that. So yeah, I said, you know what? I could just get some extra contour going on when I wanna look extra snatched or whatever. So yeah, I wanna know, do y'all gua sha and have you had any issues or breakouts? Is it one of those things where you purge, like you just break out until your skin gets used to it? Or does it just mean it's not for a girl, okay? Because I wasn't even using oil to do the gua sha. I was using like a serum, like a really slippery serum. So yeah, I know it wasn't the serum because I use it on a regular. Anyways, I'm about to head home. I need to grab something to eat on the way home. And when I get home, I'm gonna upload this wig install video that I filmed at the beginning of February. Because yo, by the time y'all see videos, nine times out of 10, I'm talking about for my beauty channel, I recorded that video maybe like two, three weeks ago or longer, unless it's like a skincare or like a get ready with me type video. I tend to like to get those up within a 
week of filming that so it's nice and fresh but yeah like my wig install videos and some of like my favorite videos and stuff like that those are pre-recorded but if I don't pick up the camera again I want to let y'all know I truly appreciate y'all riding with my vlog channel I feel like this channel is super chill and I've really been having a lot of fun vlogging this is different content and I feel like on my beauty channel y'all don't really get to see like how chill I am like yeah I love makeup I love beating my face but I'm like just super chill and goofy nine times out of ten I'm such a down-to-earth girly honestly where are my other down-to-earth girlies at